Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you for joining me in this video of the Like a Boss Facebook training. In this one, I'll be talking about setting up your reports and doing the, re the data analysis so that you can see exactly where your money's going, how the ads are performing, and just so you know the, the important stats that you should be looking at when you're looking at your ads. So just kind of the default is the performance view here, as you can see in this example ad, ad campaign, where they're showing the results. Um, if you're doing website conversions or you're doing page post engagement ads, it'll show that type of optimization or that type of uh, goal. So in this example, the results showing 734 conversions. Then we have reach, which shows how many people have been reached. Um, we're looking at the cost per conversion there, and then your budget and amount spent. So we don't really have much information on the basic layout of the ads. I mean, we can see how much we're spending, what our budgets are, and how many people we're reaching, but we don't have enough to really dive in and see exactly what the ads are doing for us. So what we want to do is go into the columns section here and we're going to choose customized columns. We're going to add some things in there. Now first off, we don't need results. We're going to go with reach and we also want to see frequency, which is going to show the average times uh, an average user will see that ad. So if you've been advertising too much in that uh, same group you might have a really high frequency and the higher frequency you get that may cause you know ad blindness it may cause worse conversion costs or whatnot so this is a good feature and stat we want to really look at as far as uh, what's going on with frequency now relevant score this is important this won't you won't be able to see this on the campaign level or the ad set level but in the actual ad level you'll see the relevant score which recently Facebook has been taking a lot of this score into effect with how they're showing your ads if you have a very relevant ad to your audience you have a much better chance of getting that shown more often whereas if you have a low relevant score this is going to cause your cost to go up and Facebook to show your ad less pretty much cause you to lose on that bidding system that's going on in the auction of Facebook advertising now you can also turn on positive and negative feedback if you'd like this will tell you on that ad level again how much feedback is coming in as positive, how much is negative. They haven't really laid out the specifics of what they're taking into account when it comes to positive negative feedback, so I don't really take too much um, looks at this because a lot of times with my best performing ads, we may have a really high relevance score, but our and our positive feedback is really high, but it also has very negative feedback just because it's being seen so much out there. So many people are seeing it, and that doesn't cause it to perform less. So I've been really taking into account mostly just relevant score rather than positive negative feedback. But I know a lot of marketers and business owners who like to pay close attention to that just to kind of get an idea of how they can improve that relevant score. All right, so. Next off, we need cost per million, which is cost per 1,000 impressions, CPM. We don't need the total cost. We will have the amount spent. We want to know how much we're spending. We don't care about any many of these engagements. Cost per like, engagement. All right, we need to know our cost per click, the CPC. We need to know our CTR, which is click-through rating, because we want to know how many people are actually clicking through the advertisements we have and getting to our website. If you're doing videos, you'd probably want to know some video view stuff. I'm not doing any of the videos here. Website actions. Okay, we want to make sure we're tracking our purchases. We want to make sure we're tracking our add to carts. We want to make sure we're tracking our view content. View content is those who view the sales page. Add to cart is those who add the product to the cart, and then purchase is those who purchase the product. So we're going to see those three actions. We have, if you have any custom conversions, you can define those, see what's going on. All right, now we get to the cost per actions, which we want to know not only how many views and add to carts and purchase are going on, but how much is it costing us for each of those actions. So you can kind of see if there's a hiccup between the add to cart to the purchase um, cost, what's going on. You might be, have to improve that step or whatnot. So we're going to go cost for purchase, cost add to cart, view content. Same thing with conversion pixels again. 
All right, now we have conversion value. This is another one I like to look at on the add to cart and the purchase level because we're gonna get to see how much money is being pulled in. This will take track as long as you have the proper coding with your pixel installed. It'll be able to say how much money is coming from each transaction, not just thinking if one product is sold that costs $25, it'll show that coming in. But if two products of that same type were bought in the same order, it would show 50. So you can see your conversion value of how much is actually coming in. And this is another spot where you can see the gap between maybe your add to cart and your purchases going on. There might need to be something that's uh, you know fixed there, improved upon. All right, apps, we're not doing any apps, don't need any of that. Set name, delivery, ends. All right, I think that is us. Now you can put it in the appropriate order that you want, where in this case, you know, I probably don't even need delivery. We know it's active or not. We'll keep it on. All right, reach, budget, and amount spent. You usually have those at the beginning or at the end. If you want to go through all your stats, put them at the end just so that you'll have to scroll through every time. It helps kind of get you through, making sure you're looking at those numbers. Go ahead and put click through. Now we can click apply. We have all our new columns coming in. So we can see if we're looking at this top ad set here, in the last seven days we've had 110,000 reach, 1.2 frequency, so about everyone's seen it about 1.2 times over this seven day period. The cost per million or cost per 1,000 impressions has been 725. Cost per click is about three bucks about 0.25 percent click-through rating had 489 views that cost us about 195 per view um, add to carts we've had 47 cost about twenty dollars 27 cents for each add to cart purchases going so forth so we have here's our conversion value of 1113.95 and our amount spent 952.58 now that's all the data we're gonna really need to know if these ads are doing well for us or what we need to do moving forward and all of that good stuff. So you can play around with the stats, look at the reporting, add any columns that you feel are necessary to help you make those right decisions. These are the ones I like to look at because everything else is kind of null and void. As long as we're making money, we can look at these stats if we're not and be able to kind of tell how we need to adjust. Um, and depending on the ad type and the what you, campaign style you're doing you may want other stats in there but hopefully this helped you out guys hope you can see how important this data and knowing these stats and these numbers are and what you can do with it so guys my name is travis patel i will talk to you later have a good one